So you have this new Chromebook and you want to make it look like it's yours. The place that you want to go to do that is in your settings. The settings can be accessed from the settings bar in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. In the settings menu you'll see lots of options. You'll be able to see that you're logged in, hopefully that's you. This is where you can sign out, it shows that you're connected to your network, several other things that you'll notice in the settings menu. When you're ready to start customizing, click on the wrench for settings and a menu will pop up. Once you're in this new menu, you'll see a variety of different things that you can change the settings for. Internet connection, the appearance, and several other items that you can customize. Browse down the list to just see what some of the options are. And when you get to the bottom, you'll see an option to show advanced settings. Don't worry, you don't actually have to be advanced to click on this part. This will just give you some other options, such as adding printing, changing date and time, etc. Since we're just going to be customizing some basics for this tutorial, go ahead and close up that advanced menu and take yourself back up to the top where the really important things are. Here's where you get to show who you really are. Are you in love with the mountains? Are you more of a city person? Do you have a dog that's adorable? In this area, you'll get to choose a background wallpaper and a browser theme that match your personality, your style. You'll see your background wallpaper as you're using your computer and also when you're prompted to sign into your account. Here, select Set Wallpaper. You can choose one of the background images. If you're more of a plain Jane or plain Joe kind of a person, you can choose a color. You'll see three different categories of preset images, including landscape, urban, and nature images. But if you want to see all of the choices, just click on all. You can try the images on. If you're feeling particularly foxy, try out a fox. Don't like it? Switch it to something else. If nothing you see is as good as what you already have, you can choose your own image by selecting custom. You can find out more about this feature by checking out our other tutorial about saving files onto your Google Chromebook. For now, I'm going to stick with the fox. Just click on the X to exit out of that menu where you'll be taken back to the settings menu. Now let's change the way your browser looks. For those of you who don't know, a browser is a place where you can search the internet. For example, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, <gasps> Internet Explorer. By changing your browser's theme, you can take it from dull to dazzling. Okay, okay, maybe you don't find flowers dazzling, but there's lots of themes to choose from, and we'll take a look at some. At this point, you'll be taken to the Chrome Web Store, where you can find lots of extra resources for your Chrome browser. Once you're in the Chrome Web Store, you'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom left sidebar to see the themes option. Right away, you're going to notice that this is going to be a hard task ahead of you. There's lots and lots of themes and lots and lots of styles for you to choose from. So spend some time browsing through all of the options. If you see one you think you might like, in the way that we did before, it's easy to try on a theme. Simply click Choose Theme, and if you like the way it looks, keep it. If not, we'll just keep on shopping. If you find one that you love, or one that you can live with for the purpose of making a tutorial that you only hope someone will watch, just click on the image of the theme. A window will pop up, hopefully telling you that that theme is free, and when you click on it, you'll be taken to a page that will give you an overview and some extra information about the theme itself. If by now you're convinced that this really is the theme you want, you'll be prompted to add it at this time. Hopefully it will be free, but do feel free to pay for one if you really have bottomless pockets. You'll notice now that that bar changed to checking. Your theme is now being added and applied to Chrome. No, I'm not really a flower person, although I won't complain if and when you choose to send me flowers, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to leave this theme alone. Remember, new themes are easy to find, easy to change, and easy to go back to every time your mood changes. So to test out my new theme, I'm going to exit out of settings and in fact out of Chrome altogether because I want to see what it looks like when I go back in. I exit out back to my desktop, launch Chrome, and there you have it. A brand new, customized to my mood theme. If at some point you get tired of your theme or decide that you want to go back to plain, basic, undistracting gray, it's easy to change. Go back into your settings and click on Restore to Default Theme. You'll suddenly notice that your theme goes away and there you have the plain gray bar you started with. 
For more information and ideas on how to use your Chromebook or to access our printable guides, visit us at bpstis.org. You'll find lots more resources, just like this one, but probably better, produced by your Billings Public Schools Technology Integration Specialists.